it's lovely to see you both and it's it's lovely to see dog tanyan back i was always very fond of dog tanyan and oh. And many of his colleagues, Willie Fogg, the gnomes, and I'd like to ask you about heroes, first of all. <laughs> uh, Mr. To get Mr. Claudio Bier is a hero, so he can tell you. Even so I, 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 I guess you are one of my victims, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do what you make makes a good hero? What's important in a hero? Well, it depends on the story. Uh, it has nothing to do uh, David the Gnome with Willie Fogg or with Doctanian. In this particular case, mm -hmm. we're talking about uh, releasing uh, Doctanian. Um, uh, he's, a, he's a hero that he really doesn't know he's a hero or be a hero, you know? He lives in a village. Uh, he's quite... Uh, uh, close to its parents and his friends there and what he wants to be is uh, the musketeer that his father used to be so he f f goes to the uh, to the city to paris to become a musketeer a musket hound uh, so he's the hero but i would say even incidentally you know it, the, it, the different circumstances make him a hero that he makes friends uh, make, with uh, the other three musketeers, them together help the king, the queen, everyone. They fight against Richelieu and all the bad guys. And very important thing uh, we've done in the movies is, as uh, you know, the series was 38 years ago. The actual girls have nothing to do with when, when you were a girl. So we had to empower the, the 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 women and for example uh, the uh, Juliet that it used to be a complete passive uh, fiance uh, watching him as a he no no he's she, he has, she has a very strong character she's the boss of the gang and Milady the bad girl uh, she's dressed like a cat woman she's terrible so it this uh, we have changed a lot the plot, but always respecting the idea that everyone has in its mind. So uh, Willie Fogg is another hero. He wants to make the around the world in 80 days and he does it. Uh, do, but in this case concrete, he wants to do it. Um, I would say that Tokhtenian is by incident that he's a hero. Because there is always, with, with your work, I, I felt a big sense of the justice of the thing. And that's a lesson Dog Tanyan has to learn himself. Whereas maybe some of the others, they, they, they're kind of already there. They, they know what it is to be a hero. Dog Tanyan has, has to do a lot of growing, doesn't he? That, that yes. is the point. Sorry? No, come on, Tony, come on. No, 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 I said that, that is the point. So Dr. Tenen is learning to be a hero because as Mr. Claudio says, he incidentally goes into a very difficult situation. But you know what? He's a hero from here, from the head. So he, he takes the real hero he has inside while learning how to fight against all the difficulties. So he teaches us how to be a hero, even if you are not expected to be one. Mm. Uh, can, I, can I bring back Juliet and Milady? And those character arcs. I know that you're. I, I understand that that you are giving them, or certainly Juliet, a, a lot more of her own character arc. She she is instrumental in what happens. She is of genuine assistance that isn't just mopping up, but it but is is part of the drive. Is that also true for Milady? Uh, she knows how to do the bad things. So you know how to um, make problems around her. She fights. Uh, she works for the Monsignor Richelieu. She's very smart. Also, she's a very, with a sword, she's excellent. I mean, um, she's um, a cat woman, let's call it this way. Mm. In, this, in this movie, this is the, the version, the looks version of the show. So we take care so much about every single character. So now they have much more richness in their personality. Every single character, I mean, Milady, they are not as flat as in the show. They are, they are more deep in their, their behaviors. So Juliet is more empowered, she decides, but also Milady 
has her, her own ideas about how to do things. So you will discover some twists that at the end are very consistent with the original TV show. We never go went again. We respect it because obviously we worked on that. So we, we love the show. We didn't want to de to, de to undraw the show, but we wanted to make more richness into this deluxe version. And Rachel, I would I would like to mention the quality and the power of the soundtrack because we have to use a symphonic orchestra from Pamplona with 90 professors, uh, the chorus with more than 100 people, plus 12 girls that uh, sing the voices uh, of, the, of the, the musket hounds, you know? So mm -hmm. it has been very, very well the place. We have invested a lot of money on the soundtrack and please pay attention to it because it will be worthwhile. Well, I, I think I speak for my generation. I will certainly be paying attention to the soundtrack because that sense of heroism and that sense of the of of what it is to to try to be a good person, I I think that was that was always a very important balance, wasn't it? That the there there is a sense that that music that music was deeply associated with the ethics that it was bringing across. So I'd imagine that was that was a very important thing for you. Exactly, yeah. Well, uh, Tony can answer you better than me. Yeah, there, there are some honor, loyalty, friendship, all these things are really important in our lives. So if you remember the song, one for all and all for one, musket hounds are always ready. So that, that is a philosophy that is very important for the lives of all of us, especially even if we, in this movie, because we are all a team. So we need all each other to do our work, to do the best movie ever possible. So that's why one for all and all for one and always. Yeah, and that, that virtue of, of community is probably more important than ever. Yes, we do. Yeah. And, and very, very We've been a community even when the coronavirus went into the production and was not in any planning. So we had to be a community more than ever. So because we were isolated suddenly and we continue working all together, even in the distance, but we were a team at that time. So we knew exactly how to do that. Mr. Claudio one side, I want everything separated, but working as a whole team all time. What do you think will surprise people about this film? Ah. Uh... We don't like to make spoilers. Uh, no, as I said, uh, first of all, the colors, the light, the rhythm is an is it's not stopping. It's every minute there is a gag, there is an action. Is it continues? Lou. Uh, we made the presentation uh, last Sunday in Wesca. Uh, the theater was sold out, full of parents with uh, with children with family all together. And uh, I was sitting on a, a scenario watching the, the, the public, the, 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 uh, the audience, and during 90 minutes, Rachel, no one moved from the seat, neither a, a three years old a boy asking for a pee. I mean, nothing, no one, no one moved a single uh, finger because uh, uh, you will see it. It's, uh, it's very, very good done. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, this, this is of one of our products, but the uh, quality of the uh, animation, the colors, the soundtrack, I must insist the soundtrack is essential. And the story is so good. Mr. Dumas was very good, you know. And as Tony was saying, one for all, one for all, for all for one, uh, everyone knows it. So I hope that in the UK, it will be well accepted and that a lot of people will uh, reuse uh, 40 years ago, 39 years ago, for only the price of the ticket and 90 minutes. No Botox, nothing special to change their faces. <laughs> it, it was very challenging to do that movie because many people grew up with, the, with this movie, so it's a legacy. So as, as I was working with Mr. Claudio Vier a long time ago in, this, in the, the, the show, so we knew exactly where were the secrets of the show. So we, we keep the DNA of this, of this story is behind the movie exactly. But then the technology has been used to make it more interesting for the new generations, but not changing anything that the, the classical viewers will expect. And that, for example, all the textures have been hand painted one by one. So we painted it 
traditional way, and then we put it on the characters. You will see in the skins, on the hairs, on the clothing. So every single detail will remind to you the original TV show. Also, the narrative style, it starts like the original TV show, but while the movie is moving on and the plots are twisting, everything turns more and more and more exigent, more complicated, and more from nowadays. The narrative style turns into a very high show with lots of illumination and effects and so on. So kids are like <gasps> hypnotized. So I think it's going to be a very successful movie. I, will, I hope so. So uh, at the end of the movie, on the last 20 minutes, there are at least three dramatic uh, changes of the plot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. Absolutely quite right. Um, although we are absolutely staying with now and we are prioritizing what is happening now, you're in a situation where presumably a lot of the crew and cast that you are working with may, may be of an age to sort of remember it. What do you find stays with people? What do you find made this so special? Uh, there are a lot of reasons. Um, I think that... Um, what we learned on Sunday, after a lot of parents came to speak with me, that um, uh, the story of the uh, series was so strong that actually it's making a communication with the natural generation. And the children understood it because as in all of my series, there is action, but there's no violence at all. No, but completely forbidden. So this is why this is a um, a product, very a family product, a hundred percent, and with uh, touches of uh, very good uh, quality, as I said, and soundtrack and animation, and with a fabulous um, man called Alexander Dumas that made. I, 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 I don't know if you know that between Hollywood. Uh, France and other countries, uh, it has been produced more than 20 movies about Dr. Tartagnan, more than 20 minutes so, uh, films. So it's a very well known character, it's very attractive. It has all the ingredients it has love, it has hate, it has good, it has bad, it has suspense, it has action, it has a lot of gags. You will laugh because there is full of gags, really. That all is is so very very vivid in 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 my memory of what you had before, and I'm sure that you're updating all of that so that it will be even more so. If if it doesn't sound too spoiler like, and I, I hope it does not, because I don't want this to be interpreted as that. Do you have a favourite moment or a favourite scene? Uh, with me personally, yes, I have a storm and uh, the sea with a battle there. Uh, I don't know if Tony is going to be upset with my comment uh, because I'm discovering one of his favorites as well. And of course, I love all the scenes um, with, with Pim, you know, with the mouse. He's so funny. Uh, he, wa he walks like, well, no, 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 sorry, stop it, stop no it. No spoilers, no spoilers. He's, he's, he's very funny and he's, I love it, I love it. I remember, I remember many years ago, 40 years ago, when we did the storyboarding. Do you remember the camera at that time went only left, right, up, down, zoom in, zoom out? So now it was time to do <clears throat> what we dreamed at that time that was making any possible language you can do in, in cinema using the camera like the live action, but in animation. Now it's time to do, now I can do that. So my favorite scenes are, Obviously, the one of the storm sea, as Mr. Claude Vierne said, because uh, you can imagine the storm, the sea, the rain, the wind, um, well, everything, the actions, jumping, and so on. So I did the maximum camera things there. But also, it was a very interesting opportunity to make values on, Miss, on Richelieu, Monseigneur Richelieu, 
is also a very interesting character because uh, it's, it's a kind of sinister character with double personality. I mean, he's a real character, but face to the others has another another face. Then in the movie, the sequences of Richelieu when he's conspiring and then talking to the kings so different, that was also very interesting to work on this character with his two faces. I love as well the result of Richelieu sequences. Yes, it's very, it's, it's also a very sinister character that now is more sinister than in the original TV show. You know, kids now also love real bad characters. The Richelieu, Rachel be uh, behaves as an actual politic, okay? Yes. <laughs> With two, two faces. Because <laughs> he was so sinister. I'm, I'm really fascinated to see how that's been updated because the atmosphere around him and the, the sense of mystery and the candles and the way he was always put in the room so that it, it was very, very sinister. Yeah. I, I don't know if this is too much to spoil it, but do you, do you go down a similar route lighting or is, is it very different in that respect? I work, I work it at all in different lights depending on the emotion of the moment. I mean, and sometimes Richelieu should be scary, sometimes should be sinister. It depends on the moment. There are different lights, but always is a kind of a, an evil character. You can, you can breathe this evilness, uh, watching the, the light and the scene, uh, all these rooms. Uh, wow, you, you will see that uh, there are some secret doors, things like that around him. He's a very mysterious character. It's, it's a little bit, the looks version of the TV show, but now is evil than ever. I'm I'm going to go back to the beginning, which is maybe the wrong direction. We've been we've been moving non chronologically, but does Dog Tanyan's previous friendships, the sort of the childhood in the village and the the enemy, does does that still form part of of his journey? Sort of the first the, the first fight before he can move on to the next level. Are you still doing that? Mr. Claudio, what do you think? Oh, oh. you're silent, Claudio. Oh. We missed. Mr. Claudio, uh, you have to, uh, are you hearing us? Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a connection problem. Yeah. I think it's a connection problem. He's, you, you're, both well, I, I can continue, maybe, well, he can try to, to restart. Sure. Yes, the, the, the origin of the story is a classical story of a guy living in a village that has been learning to use the sword and how to be a musketeer, thanks to his father. One day, he's, it's time to go into the real world and to be a real musketeer. But also, there's a second plot. There's something to do in Paris. There's a mission to accomplish there. So we follow this, uh, this idea of the original TV show, but adding some extra information. Why do that? Why should do this? Why? Why? So trying to answer more questions that maybe in the TV show were a little bit just insinuated, but you don't go there. We, we try to, to answer also these, these questions for the modern audiences. Uh, also, we had, this is separate, but we had uh, some, you know, the Easter eggs, some, some small information that is hidden in the movie. So when you watch the movie, pay attention. You will discover at some point hidden, but it is there, David the Gnome that appears in the movie, or Mr. Willy Fogg that is inside the movie, hidden. But right. if you look for, for them, you will find them in the movie. So that was all part of being consistent with this kind of animation TV shows that many people grew up watching that, learning values, learning how to be a hero, learning to be con continue always fighting against difficulties or fighting against any, any problem you have in life again and again and again, always positively. It's a wonderful description of what makes it so special. Thank you so much. I realize we have run over by a few minutes, but what do you wish I had asked you that I haven't asked you? <sighs> I really hope that people love the movie because we've been dedicating so many hours with so many, as Mr. Claudio was saying, I've been teaching lots of young people with lots of talent. They have been painting every single text of which they love. They have put in so many efforts on doing this movie. You know, we don't have the budgets of uh, Hollywood. 
they have three figures in their budget. We have one, a very small one. So our budget is very, very slow, but we have many good ideas and we love animation and we love to make happy people. So my wish is that the people that goes to the theater feels happy there and the families can see something interesting for parents as well as for kids.